to be clear, I'm not saying that it's all my wife's fault. I'm just trying to say that it's not mine. The curbs just come out of nowhere. I don't know how they got there, but somehow they're right in the way of our wheels. And next thing you know, look at this. You've got curb rash all along here. Literally every single wheel of both of our Teslas, both my car, the Model 3, and her car, the Model Y, every single wheel, every rim has at least some scuff marks on it. Who am I kidding? It's absolutely my fault. Those wheels hit everything going through drive throughs at a restaurant, at a bank, turning out of a neighborhood if a curb sticks out too much. Here's the problem. Look at the rim. When you look at the side of the tire, what's sticking out? It's not the rubber of the tire, it's the rim itself is sticking out. It makes first contact. So it's very easy on these Tesla wheels to scuff up your rims. On pretty much any other car, the first thing that's gonna hit when you go up against a curb is the rubber of the wheel. Like on my Mazda 3 here, we use for towing behind our motorhome. You look at this, we've got about a quarter inch of rubber before it actually goes over to the rim. But nope, not these guys, both of them, all rim, just popping out, ready to just get road rashed on everything. So about a month ago, I reviewed these clip-on protectors by Magback, and you see them being talked about all over the place, and what they are are little sections like this. They're just little sections, and they actually stick right to the rim of your wheel on the 20 or 21 inch Model Y. And they're quite a process to put on. You gotta put all this protective kind of pieces onto the wheel itself, as well as you gotta actually stick these. These actually stick straight to the wheel. And now that they've been on my car for six months, I'm starting to see some of the downsides of using these, and that is that they're starting to fall off. For example, you can see this one right here has come off at some point. My wife probably hit another curb. I only say my wife because this is her car. If it was me driving, yeah, it, it could have been me. But they are very sticky, and I'm really surprised one did actually come off of here, but they do stick right to the wheel themselves. And so today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna remove these from the car, and we're gonna be trying a different solution by Vion that they just released, which is one big solid unit. Now there is a downside to having it as one big giant whole piece, and that is that if one little section does get damaged, like if you do hit another curb and it scratches that up, you aren't gonna be able to just replace that section. You're gonna have to replace the whole thing. Whereas with these ones that are currently on the car right now, you don't have to do that. You can just replace the section that you actually need to replace. Let's take a look at them. All right, now Vion sent me out two sets of these. So we've got the 21 inch and the 20 inch wheels for the Model Y. And it doesn't matter what year your Model Y is, it just matters the wheel. And when you purchase these on their website, they you, you pick, you know, you select which wheel size you have. So they come with a set, so let's open these up. There should be four in each of these boxes. Whoa. So they each come individually bubble wrapped. Let's take a look at them here. Lots of protection on them, make sure they come in good order. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So they do look a little different. I'll show you what the difference is between the 21 and the 20 inch, but you can see um, here, let me change the focus. All right, so you can see here, this is where we're gonna start when we install these, putting them right on the valve. And then the way you're supposed to install these is when you put this on, you go opposite. So you snap it on here, then you snap it on here, then here, and then right here onto the wheel. And um, I think it's gonna be fairly simple. Now what makes these ones unique, which is what I think people are gonna really like about these, is that nothing is fastened to the wheel itself. So it's gonna be minimal damage to the actual wheel. Unlike what I have on now, you have all kinds of adhesive and stickers all over the wheel. But they do send out this protective kind of padded tape, but this actually goes on all the way around the rim of this protective guard here, and then up each of these little parts that go between the spokes of your wheel. But it only sticks to this to protect it from rubbing against your wheel. And then it just snaps on, and you can see that on the back of each of these clips here, um, you know, there's clips on each one of these between the spokes. Okay, so a couple things about these again before we get these installed and tested out here. Um, again, they work for 20 and 21 inch wheels, only on the Teslas. They're not designed for any other car, the model, only for the Model Y. So it's made out of durable PC and ABS. Um, Vion has free shipping and returns pretty much everywhere, which is a big advantage. Most companies aren't offering that. And they sell for $109 per set. So all four for that price. All right, now to prep these, I'm gonna take this tape now, I'm gonna wrap it all around here. This is what's gonna take a little bit of time to get these on properly. So 
This is just some adhesive tape on the back of these, so they're gonna be already clean, so you probably don't need to clean them. If it's really cold out though, I'd recommend a heat gun kind of warming these up a little bit, but it's probably not that important because it's not actually sticking it to the wheel. It's just there to protect it, and there's gonna be pressure between the wheel and the protective plastic. So I'm just gonna take this and put it all the way around the wheel. Now the neat stuff about this is you can tear them pretty easily. So I'm gonna tear a whole bunch of these about an inch and a half long. And each of these are gonna go right along each part of this part to go between the spokes here for some extra protection. All right, there she is. It is ready to go. So we got tape all the way around the outside. We got it in the middle here. And again, there's nothing tacky about it as far as there's no, it's not sticky. It's just foam tape for protection. Uh, so the next step is gonna be to go get the old ones that are on there now off of the rims. All right, now I've never removed these before, so I think you just kind of clip and you pull them off here. They kind of snap into the previous one. Uh, so I think if I just pull here, oh yeah, they don't take too much to come off, I don't think. Oh yeah. So I mean, these are what the other ones look like, and they've been great. I got no complaints about them other than the fact that you can see that even this right here is dangling off. Like this one was about to come off too. It's just not stuck to it anymore. And this is, and it's the tape that's holding it on. So as you get more and more dust and wear on these, it appears that they're gonna just keep coming off and you have so much stuff stuck to the, the rim. So yeah, I'm gonna get the rest of this off and we'll see. Now one thing I've noticed is that once one does come off, the ones beside it have even more dirt in there and they were just barely holding on in terms of the tape. It just easily, it easily came off. So I think the problem is if you do lose one of these, if you have the sectioned version of this, you definitely want to get that replaced quick because otherwise dirt just gets in and works off the adhesiveness of the other tape really quickly. So I'm just using a regular cloth here, just wiping off any of the dust and stuff. But one thing about this is, so these other ones by Magback, they, you, you put this like film over your rim. So like really no part of this is actually touching your rim, which is kind of nice. And I tried taking it off, but it's like, I don't know if it's like melted to the wheel, but it's coming off in tiny pieces. So I'm actually not gonna take it off. Uh, at the time it's adding protection to it and it would just be a massive job to get that back off. So I'm gonna leave that on there and just wipe it real good. Because I'm not sticking anything to it, I'm not worried about some dust being under there. I just don't want any rocks or any large pieces of dirt under there that might scratch up the rim when I put on the new piece. And one of the real advantages to using things like the Vion one we're putting on today is that you may already have a lot of damage to your rim like I do on both of my Teslas. And to replace this wheel, if you're just, if that drives you crazy, because it does look like crap to have that on there. It's really expensive, obviously, to replace these wheels. But when you put this new piece on, it makes your wheel look almost brand new. And people can't even see it on there. It's very unnoticeable that you have this on there. So it's a nice way to give it a new fresh kind of facelift if you have damage to your wheels currently. All right, now the way that the instructions say to do that are to start right here with the valve. So we're gonna, the valve's right here. So we're gonna clip this on first. Then we're gonna go, so I'm gonna clip that on right here. I don't know, uh, they say you should hear a bit of a clipping sound. Okay, um, I didn't hear anything there. I don't know if I'm supposed to hear it on the first one or the second one here. Now I'm gonna go straight across up here to this one. I didn't hear any kind of a snap, but it's definitely fastened on there. Now we're supposed to go to the opposite sides next. So I'm gonna come over here and hook that side on. Okay, so I figured out what you're supposed to do. I was doing it wrong. I was starting from the inside of it. I was kind of taking it underneath and then trying to snap the back on. But the way you actually do it is you put it on the back of the rim first. So you connect it back here and then you push this in and snap it. And that's how you're getting that loud snap. So put it on the back. There you go. Hear that pop noise? That's the noise we're looking for. So on the second wheel here, here's something I'll point out that definitely goes in a favor of the Vion ones versus the mag back. And that is, I just, on this one, I actually went and pulled all the mag back uh, actual stickers and plastics that they have you put on the rim off. And it took me probably 15, 20 minutes to do that, but now I probably have another 25, 30 minutes getting all this junk that it just kept all over the rim. Take a look at this. You can see there's all this sticky stuff from all the tape that's put on this all over the rim. I gotta take that with goof off or something, hope it doesn't damage the rim, and scrape and get all of that off all the way around the rim, which really sucks. And that's a big, 
big uh, vote in favor of the ones from Viome because none of this, nothing is stuck to the rim itself. So if you ever change your mind and want to take them off, you can, and you're not going to have to deal with all of this. I mean, it's just, it's just everywhere. Which, of course, is no big deal if you're planning on leaving them on there. If you're like, if you're really sure you like it and you're going to leave them on, that's no big deal if you have the mag back ones. But you put a lot of tape on there. I don't have a true opinion of these ones from Vine yet. I just will say that at least if you do take them off, you won't have to deal with this. So now obviously I'm just installing these by Vion for the first time, but on the other side of my car, car here, I haven't taken off the ones that I already had on here by Magback. And so I'll show you what these look like when they get scuffed up themselves because they're pretty much made out of the same exact material here. So take a look at this. So you can see all along the rim here that it's been scuffed up for when this was hit against a curb. And it's a ton less obvious because it's not black and then all of a sudden the silver scratch marks. It's just sort of like scuffed up black. So it's not nearly as obvious when you do the damage. But this is what this looks like all installed. Let me know what you guys think here. So, you know, you got a nice smooth one piece all the way around the rim. There are no divides, no seams where they've been conjoined to another small section. It's one nice, nice looking rim. And you would never know that there were scuff marks all over these rims. So I am about, I would say like 85% happy with these. I like how easy they are to install. I like how they don't put anything on the wheel. I'm still, as of now, an hour and a half into this video, trying to scrape off and clean off using, I found what works the best is vinegar and warm water. They said that's the best thing to use. It won't do damage. So that's what I'm using and um, I'm still working on that. So these aren't gonna have any of those issues. They're very easy to get on, very easy to get off. The only downside that I don't even know if it is a problem, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, is that because there's only clips on the inside here and they snap on solid, but there's nothing on the back to clip them on the outside of the rim. They're just sort of like resting on it. The idea is that you put pressure on the back and then snap on the inside, but you do see them move. Like there's definitely, movement here and you know it gives you the sense that maybe you know at some high speed you might do a little frisbee golf into someone else's car i don't know maybe not they don't seem like they're going to come off they seem you know very stuck on there for the most part comment down below if you think that this moving a little bit on the outside of the rim here is enough that you would be concerned all right, so now the next thing to do is to go out and actually try these out, going over some bumps, uh, going at high speeds. So we're gonna go see what we can do here. I, I'm, I mean, I don't have an actual fear that they're going to come off, but I am curious to see if I can see on the GoPro about any kind of flex or anything. Anytime something's not extremely solid and firm on the wheel like that, it makes me a little bit nervous. So I wanna go and test it and see. Again, the inside clips are solid. It's just a little, when you pull on it decently hard, you can get it to come off on the back and it's a little bit loose. I do not love that about it. I mean, it, it does bother me a little bit. So uh, we're going out and I'm gonna hit it as, uh, I'm gonna go like 35 miles an hour. We're gonna go like 60 miles an hour and we're just gonna test this out a couple of times. So let's take a look. All right, so right now I'm going about 27 miles an hour and um, Right around the corner here, we'll get it up to somewhere around the uh, 60, we'll see. It's in a part of my neighborhood. I should definitely not be speeding ever anytime in this area, but there's no one lives around it. It's kind of like this dead area. Um, so let's give it a shot and see what we can do. All right, so like no one's coming here, so let's just punch it. So that was 65 miles per hour, fast acceleration. <laughs> Man, I love Teslas, that is so fun. <laughs> All right, so I've been thinking about why that rim is not snapping on tight there, and I figured it out. It's because when I put the tape on here, they had me put it all along the top, right? All along the rim, all the way around on those other ones. And that's where the issue is, right at the top of the rim. It's just not staying over top. It's just a little bit too thick. So what I did instead on these is I put just a little piece on each of the tabs that go between the different spokes, and I was able to get it on perfectly, absolutely solid, not moving at all. So it's just too much tape in the wrong place. And so this way it's a little bit less tape, probably a little bit less protection, but it still shouldn't be moving at all. I mean, it's very firm on there. And so I don't think that's an issue, but it definitely does solve the problem. Yeah, see, take a look at this. Look at these, look at these rims now. I mean, they are, there's no movement. They're solid on there. Take a look at this other one here. Same thing, no movement. They're firm. So all it took was just getting that tape right. 
So the more I spend with these, the more I actually like them. And it was a ton of work cleaning up these rims after taking off the mag back ones. They're good. And as long as you leave them on, you're gonna have great protection. But these are also good. And these provide a one piece, solid piece. Yeah, I'm curious what you guys think down below in the description. Of course, I'll put all the information for these down um, in the details so you can look them up, go check them out. And then let me know in the comments what you guys think. And of course, if you do end up picking some of these up, use my code, save yourself a little bit of money. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Next one.